Hello my YouTube friends, today's video is sponsored by OWN, but I'll talk more about that later. Live streaming audio used to be a complicated thing. It used to be that you had to just capture desktop audio and get everything, or install a set of complicated virtual cables to separate out your audio sources. Not anymore, there's a free plugin for Windows OBS that does it all. So today I'm gonna show you how it works, and it's really easy, so let's get to it! Likes and comments are a super easy thing that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, why not subscribe? It's totally free and it really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. First, let's install the plugin. Now I did a video on this plugin before, but it's been completely redone and it looks totally different and has some really cool new features too. As always, there are links in the description so you can download it and follow along. So in this page, we're just gonna go over here to the right, go to download, and it's gonna bring us here. And we just wanna select this install one right here. It's the top one. We just click on it and download it. Then we go to our downloads page and double click on it. And then we just wanna click next through here and install when you get to this page here you just want to verify that it is the correct OBS directory in my case I'm installing it on the E Drive and it's OBS studio in your case it's probably going to be C program files OBS studio once you verify that it's the proper location just click next and then next and then install and for me it's going to tell me that I'm running OBS and it has to shut it down which is what I'm using to record this video so just click next through this and finish when you're done and everything will be installed and ready to use. Owned is a website that offers anything a Twitch streamer could possibly want. On Owned.tv, there are thousands of overlay packs with alerts and stingers built in, as well as emotes and badges, and like I said, just about everything you could want. But what really excites me is the Own Pro site. On Own Pro, you download a plugin for OBS, and in OBS, you can browse and select from thousands of overlay packs that download and are set up completely right out of the gate in OBS. You can add a alerts and labels and modify the text and even create custom layouts in just a few minutes. And they all have custom stingers that are set up with the profile so you don't have to do anything. You just download them and they're ready to go. In just a few minutes, you're gonna have a professional stream that looks like you spent a million bucks. The best part is for just a few bucks a month, and I mean less than that crappy Netflix subscription you never use anyways, you're gonna have access to every single one so you could change it up on every stream in just a few minutes if you really wanted to. So take a second and check out OWN TV and OWN Pro. Down below there are links in the description for each one. If you have the means to support the sponsors that support this channel, it goes a long way towards helping me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks! Now let's get back to setting up Win Audio in OBS. There are two ways you may want to set this up for your audio. First, I'm going to show you how to add each source separately. So in order to separate our audio, what we're going to do is we're going to click the plus under sources for the scene that we want to add this to, and we're going to go to to application audio output capture all the way at the top and we'll just name this the audio that we want to add in this case music and I'm gonna click OK and the easiest way to do this is to go down here to session and drop this down now if you don't see the application that you're looking for the best thing to do is click play and make sure the audio is playing on the application that you're looking for in my case Spotify didn't show up right away I had to actually close it again and reopen it and click play and then it finally showed up in here so then I just select it and then I click add executable and then all I have to do is click OK and now you can see that our music is down here in our audio mixer and if I drag it over here you can see I have Spotify playing and we have music in our live stream now let's click the plus and add another audio source we'll go up to application audio output capture and let's call this one game audio and we'll click OK and I'm gonna drop this down and I currently have lost arc playing in the background so I'm gonna select that then all we have to do is click add executable and then we can click OK. And now we can see that Lost Ark is playing. And if I click it right here, we can see that it's open and we're getting the music from the Lost Ark intro. Now, if I click the plus and go to application audio output capture, we can call this guest audio. And what we'll do is we'll drop this down. We'll select Discord and we'll add the executable. Click OK. And you can see if I drag Discord over here, I don't have any audio playing, but it is added in. So if we did add audio there, we could hear it. Next, we'll go to 
application audio output capture and we're going to add a YouTube scene and we'll click OK. We just need to drop this down and select where our YouTube scene is playing. In my case, it's on Firefox. Then we add the executable, click OK, and we'll quickly split the screen here. And now if I go ahead and I play it and then let's just expand our audio sources here so we can see them better and we can see our YouTube video is playing. And if I pause it on YouTube, the audio goes away. When I start it on YouTube, it starts up again. So we can add all of our audio sources completely separately using this. And it's really, really easy to do. The new plugin setup adds another cool way of parsing out your audio. I think using this method can really streamline your stream audio and make it a lot less complicated. Let me show you how it works. For this method, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go to application audio output capture. And in this case, I'm going to call this one stream audio and click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select all of the things that I want the stream to be able to hear. In this case, it would be discord audio for my guests and my game audio right there. That's lost arc. And then I'm going to click OK because that's all the audio that I want my audience to hear. But maybe I want to be listening to something during the live stream. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the plus and select our application audio output capture again. And I'm just going to call this one me audio and click OK. And then I'm going to drop this down right here and I'm going to select Spotify because I want to listen to music while I'm live streaming. But it's copyrighted music and I can't stream it so I don't want my audience to be able to actually hear it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that executable. And there we go. So now I have audio for me and I have audio for the stream. Next, I just have to configure it so that's who hears it. So I'm gonna right click on any of the audio properties here and I'm gonna go into advanced audio property. And you can see my camera's listed. Obviously, I don't need to hear that. So monitor off is just fine. But for me audio, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down and I'm going to select monitor only because I want the output put to the stream muted. I don't want the stream to be able to hear it. And then for my stream audio, well, I want to be able to hear my guests and I also want to be able to hear the game. So I'm going to select monitor and output so I can hear all that stuff as well. This makes it so easy to separate your audio into categories of who gets to hear it and who doesn't and how you want it set up. And I really think this is an awesome feature for creating different audio profiles for your live stream that you can easily just toss in any scene. Awesome stuff. If you want to see how to add live chat easily to your live stream with no hassle, you should check this video out. Big thanks to the companies that sponsored this channel. Their links are below in the description. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.